I'm going to be honest, I'm not really comfortable sharing the planet with this thing. So you usually think of snails as these delicate little guys that are maybe crawling across a leaf, but they're disgusting and weird. And then we have the volcano snail, who looks like something out of Half-Life, like he's going to latch onto my head and make me his brain slave. Chrysomalian squamiferum, or the scaly foot gastropod, or the sea pangolin. They live at depths of up to a mile and a half beneath the surface of the ocean, near hydrothermal vents that give off heat of up to 750 degrees Fahrenheit. Unlike other snails, their shells are not made of calcium carbonate, but iron sulfide, which makes them really strong and heat resistant. Their blood also contains high levels of a protein that help them survive those high temperatures. Fortunately, they do not have mouths. They actually have a symbiotic relationship with a bacteria that lives inside them. It's called chemosynthesis. Of course, deep sea mining poses a threat to their natural habitat, and to that I say, please leave them alone. Let's make sure the creepy things stay down there.